More than 40 carriers have gone under since airlines were deregulated in 1978. And although many new airlines have been born, the heaviest casualties have come from promising new carriers. But one new airline seems to be a survivor. It is People Express, which has grown faster than any airline in history. We take a look now at the man who got People Express off the ground and has kept it flying. People Express's power today is not in its perfection. It's in its aspiration to perfection. The aspiration is very powerful. It's the desire to be the best that's creating this energy today, not because we're anywhere near the best. His friends say that if Don Burr, the founder and chairman of People Express, wasn't the head of an airline, he could have been a preacher. Like an old-time evangelist, Burr brings his entrepreneurial vision each month to a graduating class of People Express trainees. Coming from the chief executive of a $600 million corporation, the message is unusual. So here we have that number one deal, the number one strategy of People Express, the number one competitive business strategy of People Express is to focus on the funniest thing imaginable, which is you. That is the number one strategy, that commitment and involvement, because that makes all the difference in the world. And the thing that strikes me about Don Burr is just the sheer force of personality that uh, continues to motivate the entire, entire workforce. It's unlike anything I've ever seen before or worked in before. It's, uh, people enjoy what they're doing. They like it. They know that if they don't like it, they can make a change. By any measure, Don Burr's people strategy has been a phenomenal success. In less than four years, People Express has grown from a glimmer in an entrepreneur's eye into the 10th largest airline in the country. People Express has built its success on low fares. Fares so low, they're cheaper than taking a Greyhound bus or driving. Thanks to People Express, flying costs less than driving. Thanks to People Express, even grown-ups can fly at kids' prices. Yippee! Oh, Dad, behave yourself. Oh. Burr can offer such low prices because he has the lowest cost structure in the industry. The reason we can travel so much cheaper than the average airline is just exactly because of the people strategy. Who generates costs? What generates costs? People generate costs. The way they fly the planes, the way they take care of the planes, the way they take care of the customer, the way they save money or don't save money, that's what generates or doesn't generate costs, which generate prices. When you are able to go to the public and say, look here, I, got, I can take you to Boston for $19, I can take you to the West Coast for $119, I can take you to Europe for $150, the public feels good about that before they start. Oh, just as good as any, any other airline I've traveled on. So, but the prices, you can't beat it. You just cannot beat that price. It's a lot cheaper for me because I can't afford to spend a lot of money. It was $250 cheaper than the uh, regular airline. Well, I think it's great. You can't beat the price. Today, People Express flies one million passengers a month from its busy hub at Newark Airport. With more than 60 aircraft flying to 30 cities, Don Burr asks each new group of trainees, what's the secret of the company's success? You know, Newark and planes and, and, you know, anybody could have figured out People Express. It's not a very brilliant idea. It's discount airline, everybody's heard of discount this and discount that and discount stores and discount all kinds of things. And anybody could have flown from Newark to Buffalo. Right, Steve? I mean, anybody could have done that. That's not so smart, Burr. How come it works so big? How come it works so big? And so half the damn intelligent world is out there, you know, writing, calling all the time, saying, what is going on? What is going on? What everyone wants to know is, how does People Express make money and charge such low fares? Here's Burr's formula. He bought his plane secondhand from airlines in distress. He operates from a formerly abandoned terminal at Newark Airport, where the rent is extremely low. People Express is a no-frills airline. That means, for instance, that passengers have to carry their luggage to the check-in counter and pay $3 to process each bag. Ticketing is done on the airplane. Food service is also no-frills. 
passengers pay for everything, including coffee, which is 50 cents a cup. But the key to People Express's low costs is high labor productivity. It's a non-union company. Everyone, including pilots, works several jobs. Customer service manager Kimberly Lyons spends part of her time checking in passengers at Newark Terminal. We're going to be boarding that momentarily right here through gate 7. She also works in marketing, here planning new schedules for next month. A lot of people come up to the counter and say, I know you're not the right person to talk to, but I have a problem with the way you do this. And they don't realize, what they don't realize is that we are the right people to talk to because we are the people who also work in the administration and the scheduling and, uh, well, er everything that it takes to run the airline. Okay, you, the company right calls this cross-utilization, and it helps keep down labor costs. So does stock ownership. You need some help? Salaries are relatively low, but employees receive stock bonuses. In fact, all People Express employees must buy stock in the company, and the airline helps them do it with discounts and payroll deductions. Knowing that I own a piece of People Express, uh, that, that makes me, that's another incentive that makes me work a little bit harder, because if I'm down there at a check-in counter, or if I'm on a flight, any kind of customer contact that I have, if someone's dissatisfied, I can't just turn my back on them and say, fly another airline. I want their business 